Okay, now let's go ahead and uh, let's practice that left front, uh, left roundhouse or your uh, lead side roundhouse. So earlier in the video, we were talking about our rear leg, the right leg. So for me, my left leg is in front. Now there's two ways to execute a lead leg or my left leg roundhouse. We can do a full switch so that we are mimicking exactly what we just did on the right side with the left side here. Or we can work on a, it's a little less power, but it's a, a faster roundhouse. It's just gonna be a step into a left roundhouse. And I'm gonna go ahead and break down both. So let's talk about the, uh, the switch, all right? So that this way, the, uh, the left roundhouse movement is exactly the same as the right side. So if I'm in my kickboxing stance here with the left foot forward, I'm gonna shuffle my feet real quick. And when I do so, it's just gonna be a quick switch. I'm not gonna jump high off the ground. I'm gonna switch quickly just like that here, okay? So you don't wanna jump high, okay? So depending on how you feel with your ankles and your knees, if this shuffling quick is not in your cards, go ahead and just do like a little one, two step. So I step forward with the right and I step back with the left. So either way, it's totally acceptable. So now my right foot is forward. I'm gonna step, point my right foot to the right now, rotate my hip and my shoulder to the right. And I'm gonna go ahead and swing that left roundhouse around and I'm gonna retract. So same concept as to the right side. So you have two options. Remember, you can step, turn your hip, turn your shoulder, swing that left leg, retract, or you go ahead and follow through, okay? So that is the lead leg. I'm gonna show you on the bag real quick. So I'm gonna go ahead and shuffle my feet, point the toe to the right, rotate my hip and my shoulder towards the right, and then I'm gonna lift my left leg up and then start swinging that leg around, making contact with the shin. Remember, use that left hand to chop down as a counterbalance, okay? And then keep your hands up, and then you always switch back afterwards. Now, let's talk about using the uh, lead leg roundhouse more for speed without the switch. So for the shadow boxing format, all you're gonna do is take your right foot, well, which will actually work the same way when you work on the bag. So you're gonna take your right foot, step forward. So you can bring it to where your feet are parallel, transfer your weight onto the right, and then now lift up that left leg, swing that hip, all right, making contact with the shin, and then drop it right back down. So I'm gonna step back or step forward with the right, transfer my weight onto this leg, start rotating my left hip forward, swing that leg around, and then you can drop it right down. And remember, yes, you can still swing through, all right, and then reset that way. So I'm gonna show you in a bag. Now, yes, you can bring your right foot where your feet are parallel, but it all depends on how far you are from the bag. So keep this in mind. Make that adjustment as necessary. So sometimes I don't always need to bring my right foot where it's parallel to the left. It could just be a small step. It could also, if I'm all the way out here, a big step and I can execute that left roundhouse. So it all depends on how far you're from the bag. All you have to do is take your right leg, take a little step, transfer your weight onto this uh, foot. Then from there, turn your hip and your shoulder to the right, swing that left leg around, and then you drop it right back down. Okay, so here are the two options. You have that switch, boom, left roundhouse, switch back, or you have that step, boom, quick left roundhouse. So the switch focuses more on power, and then the, uh, the non-switch with the little step is more for the speed, but you still can get power behind it, but just not as much power as the uh, full switch. All right, and that will be the conclusion of our roundhouses today. Thank you, guys.